How's that look? Hey guys, welcome back. We're doing another get ready with me, but this time we actually have something. I have a fancy dinner, but today I'm also going to be talking about how to not really care. I'm just going to be talking about confidence. And what I realize is confidence, you have to not care to radiate confidence. But yeah, once again, I'm just going to be talking about what you can control and that's basically what confidence is, but let's get into it because I don't have time. Actually being confident isn't telling everyone like, oh, I'm confident, oh, I'm whatever it's literally i guess i'll use my phone as a mirror being so confident you don't have to say it like your presence and people know if you tell people oh yeah i'm so confident I'm whatever you're not confident also i have like two pimples i feel like that was the worst time but anyways what i realized because i thought to myself because i wanted to give this advice like what made me confident i stopped caring that's what you have to do also i did soak it but i realized i stopped caring like having the i don't care or idgaf mindset i want to say the word you know what i'm saying but that's like peak I don't know also i don't know why i'm so red but seriously ask yourself right now why do you care so much what other people think hey you have to let go of how people perceive you okay because not everyone's gonna see what you see and like no matter what people are gonna perceive you differently okay and i think something that really helps me only person you have to prove to yourself is yourself it shouldn't be anyone else you have to prove something to like why i don't know i don't get it but seriously start detaching yourself from the opinion of others like you'll just be so much more at peace in my opinion and then there's a really nice saying that really helped me. I feel like I need more concealer. See, the thing is, now I don't care so much about my makeup. Just think about my dress. Because I need to iron it, and I'm not that good at ironing it. But there's this quote where it's saying, You may be the sweetest peach, but not everyone likes peaches. Really think about that for a second. Maybe you don't like peaches. Personally, when I saw that quote, I actually really liked it because I don't like peaches. But I know peaches are like really nice fruit. Okay, let's talk about raspberries because I really like raspberries. If someone tells me they don't like raspberries, I'll be like, Wait a second. I really like raspberries. You know what I mean? But literally, like, you can be doing your best. You can be whatever. And not everyone's going to see that. And it's fine. Like, learn to be okay with that. When you stop caring, like, that's when you become confident, in my opinion. I put such a strong emphasis on this because i think that's really like what helped me start being so unfazed by others okay especially to limbs don't be giving them the reaction that they want from you just be that bigger person and be like because like i said if you're a confident person if you're so full of yourself and you know you're that mf it shows you don't have to like prove yourself or anything oh yeah i'm gonna do an updo with my hair so i'm very excited for that i've never done that before it's just like a cute bun but like it's like a bun but make it cute and then my dress is green now but it's hella cute so i lowkey just want to like on my dress i was gonna do eyeliner but now like do we have the time but seriously ignore these limbs and be yourself okay i also think that confidence might be something different for all of us i'm also gonna be talking about what it means to not be confident because I think if you do these habits probably not a confident person only because the confident people i know they don't do this stuff you know what yolo let's just do eyeliner I'm trying to be confident whatever and you do these stuff trust me stop doing them but what stuff am i talking about i'm like organizing my makeup right now so <laughs> like confidence might mean different stuff for different people but one of it it's not being a jealous person or being mean or being a lame being a bum like anything that's just gross negative lack mindset if you engage in anything like that you're not a confident person like stop doing that trust me because confident people are like the coolest ever they don't engage in that behavior and confidence it's just glowing without needing the approval of anyone else trust me like that is peak confidence and when you're engaging in like gossip or like anything like that like jealousy whatever you're not okay with yourself because no one who's okay with themselves would be engaging in such i want to call them ghost habits no gossip is a lame if you gossip and stuff like that like no but it's fun but it's whatever no 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 like trust me like stop doing that there are better ways to enjoy yourself than gossiping like just why are you bringing other people business and other people's stuff into your mouth i think people who gossip they just have nothing in their life to talk about and so they talk about other people don't do that honestly just sit and like stare at a tree with your friends instead i don't know but just anything lack mindset a confident person does not have that they're very growth mindset they only see like abundance and like positivity and all of that stuff i don't know why i just curled my lashes if i'm gonna do eyeliner what am I doing? Why am I putting mascara if I want to put eyeliner? I don't think I want to put eyeliner, but I think eyeliner would look so cute with my dress. Now that I told you what confidence doesn't mean, you have to realize like gossip isn't good for your well-being either. When you're talking about other people, that's not a good like vibration or frequency that you want to be at, okay? Okay, let me just like, let me lock in for a second. Give me one second. I have D whatever stuck in my head. What's it called? Future Drake and Young Thug. D something. D42. I I eat calamari. Becoming confident though, it's something you learn. You're not gonna just wake up. You have to start forcing yourself to be confident. And you just will, because you'll get so used to it. You'll get so used to acting like it. Like I said, fake it till you become it. I just started like going to places alone and I just fell in love with doing that. Mm, 
I don't know how I feel about it. Mascara, but um, I'm like, I kind of fell off with eyeliner. That's the only thing. It's okay, guys. Trust the process, okay? I used to do eyeliner so much. Like, I think eyeliner was so fun for me. Um, maybe I, like, fell off with my skills. <laughs> okay, but let's talk more about confidence. Take care of yourself. When you take care of yourself, that also makes you more confident. Like, think about it. Let's say you pull an all-nighter. You wear, like, the ugliest fit ever. That sounds kind of mean. I don't mean it like that. But whatever, hear me out. You're dehydrated, you haven't eaten, and you walk to school or you walk somewhere. You're not gonna be like, oh yeah, look at me, like, I'm so sleep deprived, whatever. No, you're gonna feel like, you're gonna feel like ass, okay? So take care of yourself, okay? You need to eat good, you need to sleep well. Sleep is so important. And also, start going to the gym. Watch my video. It's a good video. Whatever, if you want, I don't know, you don't have to. But seriously, eat good, sleep good, practice good hygiene. Oh yeah, if you're wondering why I'm looking down, this is where my, um, you're like too close to me. But yeah, and like I said, if you don't go to the gym, look, you go to the gym because you'll feel really good about your body. It's also a good time to practice being alone. I think that correlates with you just become more confident. I'm not too sure. This is like a key takeaway, taking care of yourself. If you sit there and do wash your face, brush your teeth, like do your routine, that makes you feel good. You know what I mean? Wait, I can't find it. I'm so sad. I don't remember removing it from here. I guess I can use this pencil. Yeah, this doesn't work. Wow, I'm so sad. I don't know where it is. I had this like pencil from Lancon that's like waterproof, so I'd put it there because I think that would look so cute. Talk about some ways, aside from like the gym, whatever. But I think inner validation, I'm gonna repeat myself, but I don't really care because I want to make this point. You're not seeking validation. So what is inner validation? Basically, you know that you're that MF. You tell yourself that you are. You're not doing things for others. I mean, I can use makeup as an example. Makeup is meant to like define your features like elevate you I guess I don't know you know what I'm saying like it's not meant to do a whole like 360 on your face everyone was born with like, such a pretty face and if you don't think that the media has told you otherwise but if you are someone who wears makeup make sure you're only wearing that for yourself and not because you feel the need to because you think you're gonna look ugly or whatever I remember once out of friends she wore no makeup to class one day and I couldn't stop looking at her and I told her like a thousand times I was like, you look so freaking good. Like just natural faces in general look so good. I love it when I see my friends in their natural face, like their bare face, I don't know. No, but for real, when you truly love yourself, like you know you're the coolest. That's all that matters. Like as long as you think you're cool, what else matters? I don't, I don't know, make it make sense to me. And if the people around you don't think that, you're hanging out with the wrong people. Also, this is like kind of random, but you should like compliment strangers. Only if it's genuine. Because also you'll make them feel really good. Like someone complimented me on my fit and it was such a random like interaction. But it was just such a nice thing to do. I mean, that's how I felt. But imagine if you did that to someone so i'm looking right something is up with the eyeliner this is why i hate doing eyeliner i don't advise what i'm doing actually i advise it maybe i don't know sure there's like a more efficient way to do it but i kind of just scratched it off so i can kind of make it even okay the eyeliner is bugging me i don't know what it is oh, i'm not mentioning the brands um i don't think brands matter that much this is tarte just so random for eyeliner don't even ask me i don't even know how i started using tarte like for eyeliner okay i'm thinking about like when i have to smile for pics it's a school event, by the way. It's not just like a random dinner. Yeah, I have no mascara. My next point is be yourself and do things for you. When you do this, you'll also just radiate with confidence because you're doing stuff for yourself. Do stuff you genuinely like, not anything that's you've been influenced or whatever, like someone told you otherwise. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna lose my mind. I'm so annoyed with my eyeliner. I made this one too thick okay it's okay but i'll use an example there are these shades i'll wear them in a second i'm just fixing my mascara but they genuinely make me feel like i'm that mf <laughs> like that's so silly they're literally a pair of shades but wear stuff like that like wear shades wear clothes or do anything that genuinely makes you feel like you're that person all right here are the shades what if i just pull up in these so no one can see my eyeliner i freaking love these okay i think i fixed it i'm just upset about the mascara part like i'm very upset that my mascara is not good but yeah i don't really have examples because i think this is going to be very specific to everyone i mean i already used the shades as an example i mean i'm sure there are other stuff that work for you do i want to do lip liner probably not uh -huh. i mean i could there was this lip liner i really liked you know i'm thinking the lip liner that i like is in here and the lamp thing eyeliner is in here so i definitely move them yeah i'm just gonna use these i don't know do I know how to do lip liner? I don't, I don't know. Every time I do lip liner, it's different. I don't recommend you overline your lips, by the way. I just don't think it looks cute. Some people pull off really nicely. If you are to overline it, maybe here and the top. I like it when people... Oh, did you see that? 
I think it's super cute. Okay, I'm gonna talk about the last section. And this is like energy, I guess. I don't know energy like positive energy and affirmations i'm like 1000 percent sure i've mentioned this before i just remembered i have this it was trending um i saw on pinterest and i was like i need it black cherry it did not look good on me maybe oh my gosh i just remembered something or maybe i got this after no i think i got it before maybe after the last time i actually did like really nice eyeshadow it was a day before halloween because my professor was like if you guys dress up i'll give everyone like extra credit i was gonna pull up in my boa fit but i didn't want to wear a dress that day so instead i pulled up as a witch i just did eyeshadow and then when i walked in he's like um bro like i don't know if he said like bro what are you or like you're not anything and i was like look at the face makeup it's like i gotta respect that <laughs> obviously that's not what he said but no he was basically like not nah, fire am i done with my face i guess I just wish I had more mascara. I think I just, I ran out of mascara. You know, now that I think about it, this is kind of an old mascara. Maybe that's why. Oh my gosh, we need to fix the hair. Oh yeah, so like I said, that positive, my alarms keep going off. That alarm that just went off was time to leave the house. I'm standing up because I'm gonna do my hair now. But seriously, start telling yourself that you are that MF. A positive affirmations, anything that you consume, whether it's like music, movies, your phone, anything. Like literally anything. Like I mean anything. I don't know how to do an update because I want my bangs out. Surround yourself with only the best energy. If I show you my room, I just have like good vibes like everywhere. But yeah, surround yourselves with the best vibes. Just anything. I don't want to just say media. It's like anything you consume. Even the people. Be around the best. Because when you're around the best, you'll feel your best. Would it be silly if I... How does that look? Ten, it looks good. And be like, yeah, that's so far. Okay, we need to we need to fix this. Okay, I literally need to leave the house. Okay, so I'm on phase two, which is getting ready. Um, I don't know what else I have to say about confidence. Let me think for a second. See, I can't stop. I can't think because all I'm thinking about is... I need to leave the house. But just know you are that MF. Tell yourself that you are that MF. And then just start acting like you are that MF. Even if you are you think you're not, eventually you will. I already said this. But when you start acting like it, you just get used to it. And you'll just become that. Oh my god, this is so scary. I got fashion tape, I mean dress tape, so hopefully it works. Hello, what do you think? Um, there's no time to think, I need to go. I also heard that it's super cold, so it's gonna top it with this. I'll show pics there. So it's not that I'm not comfortable in this. I packed the tape with me. I'm gonna fix it in the bathroom. I didn't shoot a finish yet because my hair is still like this. So I'll show it when I'm there. Okay, so I just got back. I did hella rush, which I realized that even when I got there, it was fine, even if I was like late. But I just wanted to show the fit again. I'm glad I kept my hair up though. I'm not saying that like it would have looked bad, but I'll kind of just film the outro right now. I'm so tired, but I really hope this video helped. I don't know. Um, but also, like, this dress here. I kind of hope that this gave you the confidence to at least, like, wear that dress if you have, like, an occasion or something. Because trust me, like, I've never worn a dress like this. This is now, like, my signature dress. I don't know. I really like it. I mean, it's not that I like backless so much. Also, I've never worn, like, an emerald green before. And I have, like, the Zoro earrings, so I feel like Zoro. I tried wearing something like that. It was super fun and... Ooh for me to remove my makeup and go to bed but love you guys so much and have a beautiful rest of the day rest of the week morning night whenever you're watching i love you guys